Hi everybody, it's Kim Jeffress for Hardy Swap, and I wanted to share with you how I make these fun QR codes in my scrapbooking. You can see I've created this fun pocket page using the Hardy Swap artwork collection. Um, this is from when we visited Rome last year and we took our boys to a gladiator school. And I created lots of, or I filmed lots of videos with my phone. Now I use these QR codes a lot in my scrapbooking and, and I want to share how um, I create them. So, so on my phone I have this QR creator, it's called QRafter Pro. And it allows me to either watch videos that I can scan or create my own videos. So to create my own videos, what I've done is when I'm... Um, when I got home from my holiday, I uploaded the videos that I took to my computer and then I upload and then I uploaded the videos to my YouTube account. And the videos are actually on unlisted. So they're not public, they're not private, they're unlisted. So that means that only the people that have the link or the code can view the videos. That's really important. If you put them to public, that means anybody can see them. Um, but because they've got my boys in them, I don't want them to be seen um, by the general public. So um, it's up to you, but I would suggest if you have some private home videos, you can either set them to private or to unlisted. So then once the um, your videos are uploaded, you open up your QR reader And then on mine, it says hit create. And then you have to click the URL. So that is the location of the video. So I'm going to open up YouTube. And then here is my account. There's my channel. So these are the public videos that I have. Then I can just click on videos. And you can see here are my videos that I've got of my training, of my boys training. So I'm just going to hit one. I'm going to click on one. And then I'm going to hit share. And then I'm going to copy that. I can close that down. And then I'm going to go back into my um, QR reader and I'm going to paste the code. Now just to make sure that I've got the right video, I can hit preview content and watch video. Yep, and that's right. So I can close that down and then I hit create. And then it comes up with the QR code. Now, you might wanna change the color um, depending on your layout. So you can see here mine, uh, I've got some rusty browns and yellows and greens, but just say my colors were hot pink. So on my video, on my QR code reader, I can hit this little button and then I can change, just by moving my finger along the color wheel, I can change the color of my code. So let's say I want purple, then I hit done. Okay. And then I just actually take a screenshot um, of my QR code and then it goes into my photos. So there it is there. And then because I want it square, I'm just gonna edit it and click on the little um, crop button and I want it square. And then I can just move it around in the square and then it's done. And then I just actually airdrop that. I have a Mac that's my husband, but I just airdrop that um, to my computer and then I print them off. So four of these little codes will fit on a four by six piece of pattern paper. Uh, sorry, a four by six um, photo page. And then I just have adhered them to my um, pattern paper here. So I've layered these ones up with um, phone tape for a little bit of dimension. So whenever I'm looking through my holiday album, I can, and I wanna see these videos, 
I just open up my QR reader, I click scan with camera, and it scans, it scanned this um, QR code, and I, it says, watch video. And there is the video that goes along with my um, layout. So I use these a lot. I use them in my memory planner. I use them in my storyline chapters. And I especially use them in my holiday um, layouts. So that's how to create and customize um, your uh, QR codes. A lot of QR code readers just make them in black and white, but this one is called the Q Rafter Pro, and it's able to customize to any color that you want your QR code reader or your QR code. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.